So I wanted to correct something that I, I said on a previous video, I think on the uh, unboxing and setup. I uh, said this is the uh, six position, six connection uh, LAN style cable. And uh, it looks a lot bigger than the other ones, but it is in fact the RJ11, the same one that you might use for the, uh, like this is the, the connector for the hand box. So that one will slip in there and click nice and snug. Uh, and most of the other ones on the mount are too. There's just one other RJ9, which is for the RS-232. So what I thought I might do is uh, go through and get some plugs. So I found one of these plugs just in uh, another item that I had, and I fit it in there just to check to make sure it would plug that hole, uh, just to keep dust or whatever out, and just so I don't plug stuff into the wrong hole in the middle of the night when it's dark. Um, and I thought, well, it doesn't really click. Um, it is fairly snug in there, but it can, you know, maybe work its way out or get knocked out. So, so I bought these RJ11 uh, plug heads, and uh, they come uncrimped in a box of 10 or so. And uh, they're just a couple of bucks at the uh, hardware store. But uh, I bought these, and you do have to crimp them uh, before you put them in. So the, the little pins here will be too high, and you could jam it in there, but it probably won't come out. So just put it into your crimping tool, crimp it down uh, with nothing in, and then you can slide it in, and it'll clip in there, and it's not coming out unless you undo it just like a regular, you know, just push the tab and pull it back out. Okay, and here's the same thing with the RS-232. Now this is an RJ9, so it's just very, very slightly smaller than that RJ11, but it does the same thing. It goes in, and uh, it'll snap in, and it'll stay there. And then uh, this is one of the, the big RJ11s. I'm gonna put that into the guide port since I don't use that. And that'll keep me from plugging something into the wrong side. And if I come over here, not exactly sure what the uh, port port is, but I'm gonna go ahead and put one in there. That's the hand box port right there, so you don't, uh, you don't wanna mess that up. I, I don't know that it would do any damage, but why risk it? And then the last one is up here, just uh, where the polar scope is. This is the one that runs through the mount up to the higher one up there. So got all those plugged and uh, should be good to go.